Hey guys, thank you for watching and welcome to my channel. This is Breaking Burke. It is about house plants and gardening here in the desert of Albuquerque, New Mexico. In today's video, I wanted to share a couple new plants with you. Uh, this one here is a uh, cane begonia. It's called that because it grows on long canes, these stalks that are here. And it can reach as high as it wants to as long as you support it. Uh, most of the time, what you see in the stores are Rex begonias. They're small little bush type begonias that form a clump or a mound and they get wider. It'll pop up a little baby next to it. Sometimes these will too, but not very often. And uh, easy to propagate, super uh, easy plants to care for most of the time. They do like to stay moist. Uh, Humidity is great for them if you can provide it. I usually don't have it and don't have a problem. This winter I lost a lot of my begonias. Uh, I just kind of got lazy and let them dry out too far. That's how I know. You cannot let them dry. They do not rebound like other plants. If you do have a begonia that's uh, not doing so great, I recommend just propagating. For me, that's the easiest way to fix an issue. You propagate it and the new plant is usually a little more hardy and resilient. Now I do have another plant, sorry if the camera moves quite a bit. I didn't get a table or anything ready like I should have. This is my other new plant. This is Aglaonema Sparkling Sarah, or Chinese Evergreen. I like the pink on it. It's similar to the other one that I have, you can see. There's a ugly funky leaf there. There were a couple more, that's why you can see a little bit of a stalk on this, but I liked that it was a lighter pink than the one that I already have. And it's got a little bit more of a showy leaf. This is my third one so far. I figured I'd start with one because I've heard horror stories about how hard they are. And the one that I got was a rehab, so I didn't think it was going to last at all. But so far it's been good. It has uh, continued to bloom the entire time I've had it, so it seems to be pretty happy. Now it's been over a year, I think, and it's starting to get a little bit leggy, just slightly. So I don't know if I'm going to propagate it or just let it continue to grow. I have seen some tall, beautiful ones. And like I said, it's happy. It's throwing out pups. It's doing its thing. Uh, let me know if you have any care tips on these. If it's any harder than the pink Siam or CM uh, Aglaonema. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day. Bye.